Hello, I'm Perry Romanowski, back with another video designed to make you a better formulator of cosmetic and personal care products. In this video, we're going to cover the main instances when it makes the most sense for you to create an emulsion formulation. But before we get into that, I wanted to tell you about our upcoming webinar, All About Emulsions. This will be a live webinar and it's going to be held on the date and time listed to the right of this video. You can just sign up now just by clicking on the green button. In this webinar, I've teamed up with Jane Barber, the founder of MakingSkinCare.com. Jane is a cosmetic chemist and full member of the Society of Cosmetic Scientists in the UK. She leads a worldwide team of chemists and has a wealth of experience formulating for large multinationals and startups. Jane also runs online courses making natural skin products and hair products. So if you're interested in learning more about emulsions, including what they are, how they are made, how to keep them stable, and We'll even have time after the main presentations for you to ask your formulation questions. All right, now on to our main topic. Five instances when it makes the most sense to create an emulsion. Number one, when your functional ingredient feels greasy, sticky, or tacky. Some of the best raw materials for moisturizing skin, like occlusive agents, emollients, and humectants, can feel heavy, greasy, and sticky. So you can't just make a formula using those ingredients. But if you incorporate these ingredients into an emulsion, you can reduce those negative characteristics while still getting the benefits from those ingredients. Number two, when your functional ingredient doesn't spread. Consumers use cosmetic and personal care products on large segments of their bodies, so they need to be able to easily spread the functional ingredients that are in your formula. Unfortunately, many of the most useful ingredients quickly adhere to the skin and they can't easily be spread. But when you create an emulsion with these ingredients, a small volume of your ingredient can easily be spread wherever the consumer needs it. The third instance to create an emulsion is when your functional ingredient is expensive. The ingredients that make cosmetics work can often be pretty expensive. You might be able to make the best anti-aging skin cream in the world, but if it was too expensive for your customer to buy, then you haven't really accomplished anything. Using an emulsion can let you dilute a more expensive ingredient while still delivering most of the benefits of that ingredient. So if you want to use a super expensive natural or anti-aging ingredient, just emulsify it. Number four. You should create an emulsion when you need to create a film on the skin. Products like sunscreens or color cosmetics work best when you can spread an even film on the skin. When these ingredients are incorporated into an emulsion, it makes it much easier for the consumer to do this. In this case, creating an emulsion actually makes your product more effective. And the fifth instance you should create an emulsion is when you stabilize an active ingredient. A lot of cosmetic active ingredients can break down when exposed to air, light, microbes, and even water. When you lock those ingredients up in an emulsion, it is less exposed to those factors and you can make your active ingredient more stable and last longer. If you have a particularly reactive active ingredient, putting it in an emulsion is a great way to keep it stable. All right, now that you know the instances why you might need to create an emulsion, you next need to learn how to pick an emulsifier and create those emulsions. Well, this is exactly what we'll be covering in the webinar next week. So if you're interested in finding out how to create formulas that are functional, feel great, less expensive, and are stable, join us for the emulsion webinar by clicking on the green button on the side. This will be practical information that you can use in your formulating efforts right away. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Perry Romanowski. And I'll see you at the webinar.